Tatiana here. Welcome in my next video for Hip Kit Club. Today I am working with December Kids, and my theme for this week was the focus on uh, Hip Kit Club exclusives. I chose this gorgeous paper designed by Irid Landgraf uh, as my inspiration and a piece of a design, and I will create a rainbow project. Um, I have a color kit this month, so I decided to use elements from this color kit and first I am using the stencil, a very pretty flowery stencil and a paste, this is a past pasties from Shimmers and the color is, the color is, I don't remember <laughs> the color, but you can check the colors uh, into the description of December color kit. Oh yes, it's a putting on the glitz. Uh, I remember the color. Uh, it's a transparent uh, paste with uh, pieces of glitter inside, so it sparkles very pretty when it's dry and it dries uh, clear. So if you will apply it on the background that isn't white, you won't be able to see anything but the shine of the paste. It won't have any color. I applied uh, the paste and I left it to dry. You can rush the process using the, the heat gun. And now I am looking for some matching, um, matching mists from Shimmers. Uh, so I can create this uh, the same color scheme as the paper uh, from uh, Irit Design. And I am starting with a yellow... Uh, Yellow mist, I think it's a uh, no yoking color uh, and it's um, vibes. Uh, they are all from Shimmers and this color is called Hermit the Frog. And I really like this lime green color. And uh, when we are walking, uh, working with this kind of a design, we have to work color by color. So they won't mix to the, together, creating this really nasty poo kind of a design. The purple color is, I'm not sure if it's princess because or a grape escape, one of those two. And the pink color is called sweetheart and it was included in one of the hip kits. And the blue color is from the December color uh, kit and, and the name is something with snowman or winter <laughs> don't remember sorry and i am not at home so i cannot check this uh, right now but i could check it online okay let's admit i'm too lazy to do that uh, <clears throat> i used a watercolor paper uh, for the background that's why i didn't have to be that careful with a uh, very wet mist and my paper didn't didn't wave too much when uh, the paper was dry, I added this rainbow uh, strip by Irit. And now I'm building my composition. I have a picture of myself, yes, a fresh selfie. <coughs> they always <laughs> save me when I have to create a project and I don't have any specific idea or any specific picture I want to scrap. And so I just pick one of the selfies of myself or my girls and I go with the flow. And because it's selfie and it's black and white, everything matches. And what matches the girls better than flowers and butterflies? Yeah, so I'm just uh, going in that direction. Uh, uh, we have Vicky Boutin new collection uh, items included into the December kit and there is a, a ephemera pack filled with flowers and butterflies and I decided to go this way and use those flowers and those butterflies especially they have the matching colors uh, so yeah that was a destiny <laughs> Uh, this collection also includes um, include uh, birds, so I thought it would be fun to add birds too. But before I will start gluing down my embellishments, I have to glue down the picture. I am using uh, this weird uh, double-sided sticky tape because my ATG gun just ran out of uh, sticky tape. 
I have to uh, buy some more and I am adding uh, cardboard pieces to raise a picture a little bit above the surface of the layout because you know that I am a dimension kind of a freak and I love uh, dimension on my pages. I am also backing my pictures with mid picture with two pieces of uh, other uh, Iris paper designed for December main kit. And one is blue and one is pink. Maybe it's the same paper, just the lower part. I'm not sure, I don't remember because I made this layout a few days ago. Um, the picture is glued down, so it's time to start adding embellishments or gluing down embellishments using 3D foam squares or uh, without uh, 3D foam squares. It depends which layer it ha it was supposed to be. And I will skip the process of gluing down elements because, uh, you know, <laughs> removing those tiny squares from the uh, 3D foam squares is kind of a boring part of the process and you really don't have to watch it. And look how pretty my um, splashes of color combined with the paper you really can't tell what is the uh, border, where is the line where the paper ends and the mixed media starts. Um, and I'm still playing with December kits. I am using the main kit, the embellishment kit, the uh, project life kit. Uh, and I am trying to choose from different uh, Vicky Bhutan uh, elements. So the ephemera pieces, um, this is the sticker sheet. I also have these enamel shapes uh, that are lying under the sticker sheet. But uh, finally, I didn't use any of those stickers because, well, they didn't look <laughs> natural. Naturally, they didn't look good here. Uh, they matches with the color, but they were just too long, so I removed it. Uh, after a few more tries of placing them here and there, um, but but yeah, I remember skipping them after all. Uh, and I don't know why I kept this in the video. So I have a plan to bore you to death, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a secret spy who kills people with uh, boring scrapbooking process videos. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> this is something that took like a minute and a half and did it, uh, didn't it did add anything to the process. Sorry for that. Uh, maybe I was too sleepy when I was editing the video. Uh, but on the other hand, you really can see that creating layout isn't just an easy peasy piece of cake. You really have to work hard to match the embellishment. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, sometimes it's a struggle. Um, I am filling up the composition with some uh, elements. Uh, I usually start with the big ones like the flowers and the butterflies and the birds. And I am going down to the smaller sizes of embellishments. So enamel dots are usually the final step of my process. Uh, flare buttons, some small stickers, some puffy stickers. Those are the elements I add at the very end of the scrappy process. And this is the moment when I add also a puffy stickers. So we have those Pink Fresh Studio a uh, puffy star set included into one of the kits and I love this set. It's a giant pack of stars in rainbow colors and I could really use many, many uh, packages of these stars and I'm so happy that January kits have uh, hearts included from the same mix and match uh, collection by Pink Fresh Studio. Um, and it's time to add a title. I was going to add this ephemera piece with the Blossom to Awesome uh, inscription, but then um, I thought I will uh, create the same title using uh, thickers that are included into the kids. We have this black thicker uh, sheet with some white inscription 
and also this blue one uh, puffy sticker sheet included into the project life kit and then I found the word awesome it is the piece of good vibes <laughs> by Crate Paper a collection and it's a set of puffy sticker words and when my title is ready I am finishing up the layout with smaller and smaller elements and and I said it before that this is usually the final step of my process and now splashing in matching colors I am using the same mist I used to create my splatters so it's the yellow one the blue one uh, and I didn't use the green one why I didn't use the green one maybe I will use it later I am not sure but uh, oh yes here is the green one I just forgot using it earlier um, so basically I am using those one two three four five colors to add splatters it uh, creates uh, this dimension uh, on the page not dimension dynamics on the page and a little bit of messiness and this is kind of my signature style i really can't create a totally clean page and yeah that's it my page is ready and here are a few close-ups and if you want to see more of the designs don't forget to check our hipkit club members forum for more inspiration our hipkit club blog and hipkit club facebook page thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye